All right. So this one's a fun one to me. Um, so the past couple of weeks uh, have been insane in terms of smaller teams, keeping it close against big teams. And in several cases, not just the SEC, actually beating them. So uh, do you think that there's just more parity across college football now, or is this just coincidence? And one reason why I asked this is because the theory was that if NIL gets introduced, oh, the parity is just going to go away. The rich are just going to get richer and the poor are going to get poorer and nobody's going to, you know, it's like we're going to see the ha the haves ha uh, just keep uh, continue to build their resources and the have nots are just going to be in, you know, in the in the background. What do you think? I don't think it's either of those. Okay. I actually think it goes to what we were talking about earlier in the week. And I'm going to go back to the transfer portal. And I say that because I really think there's something to what Coach Saban talked about when he said that there's not enough veteran leadership on the bench. There's not okay. enough guys that have played before who understand the system, who have developed their talent that can come in and take the place of a starter. That, that depth chart has been changing so much across every single program, but especially the bigger programs, because people have talent. They don't want to sit behind someone else because they know they can easily transfer and go play and start elsewhere. So that bench that you rely on, that depth chart you rely on, is, is filled with these 18-year-old kids that just came from high school, haven't been in the program, you know, except for a summer, and they they just don't have the development that you need. And I think we've seen it a lot where in look at the games that people lost, some of them, not all of them, where you have a lot of starters out, you have people getting hurt, people getting injured, and you've got to pull people from the reserves. Now, some of it is absolutely, I think some of the teams were hyped up way too much. And sometimes all of the stars align for those Cinderella moments. We see it all the time in basketball. But I don't think it's as much NIL as it is just this turnover rate of, of teams. The starters start and then the bench changes constantly. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I hadn't actually never really thought about that, but where you're at a point where, yes, these big programs are recruiting like crazy. However, if those top recruits don't get playing time or if things don't go as they want, then they're out of there with a the transfer portal and then uh, you're left with, yes, you've got these great players who are starting, but maybe the depth is not there on the bench. And yeah. in, in theory, that should still be better at the bigger schools or the, the, the Blue Bloods, the schools who have more NIL money, I, I suppose, or whoever uh, who are able to recruit better. But, um, but yeah, no, I think that could definitely be part of it as well. Honestly, I don't know uh, what the real answer is. I... I think it has been something interesting to, to watch. It'd be interesting statistically to compare this year to other years, maybe in the past five, 10 years or whatever, and to see if that many upsets of, you know, and I'm talking about like really small schools in comparison, yeah. like like the App States or, um, you know, uh, Marshall beating uh, Notre Dame or, you know, things like that. We have to wonder too with, I mean, right, was it right before the season or right after we started that, they announced they were expanding the playoff. Mm -hmm. That gives these schools a chance. They could actually play, you know, for a national title. I don't know if that Ten, adds yeah. to their fire. Well, and and to your point, if uh, even if that's so that's not going to be this year, but in order to to get yourself in position uh, rankings wise, you already kind of want to build towards that. So next year they'll have you ranked higher, possibly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, supposedly they're not supposed to think about things like that, but it's in their minds, you know it is. So um, interesting. Okay, uh, yeah, I um, I just thought that was something interesting. I I've, I noticed that and I was like, we need to talk about this because this seems Wild. like it seems like there's more parity this year, and there's in theory should be less. So it's uh, it's been wild. I don't know. 